get things started off here with the handy dandy Black and Decker rice steamer. Just put some water in there, there in the bottom. Put the rice on the top. Set it for 35 minutes. You're good to go. And that that's cooking green, folks. Unless you're gonna go out with get some sticks in the backyard because that's a 110 volt appliance plugged in here at the plug-in rather than heat up the water on a 220 volt stove so that's the name of that tune I'm getting my big bowl of food ready starting off with steamed rice right here uh-huh here I am with a cup of cold water and I've, I'm uh, mixing in my uh, gravy mix store-bought stuff this two packs of this from Kroger yeah getting that mixed up to a smooth consistency and then I'll be doing a uh, pouring a thing of hot water in this and then putting the whole thing in the microwave now you don't catch me starting this damn stove up for my gravy no way in fact I'll get my hot water going right now a little old handy dandy hot water machine there some people are energy hogs and they start up the stove to do hot water to do their tea uh, not me no and by the way, uh, my mom doesn't allow me to use the stove. That's, so that's kind of how I become Sonny the Green Chef. Now I'll be back in a little bit. Right now I've got mixing to do. Yes, sir. Mm. And it's all going to go in there. My own personal bowl of food. Okay. And there we go. Genuine, really hot water. I mean, that's as hot as it gets, folks. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. And here I am pouring my hot water into this cool, mixed up gravy mix. Yeah. It's going to be so good. There's kids in India that never had gravy like this. I just know it. Yeah, just mixing away. I don't see no lumps. I don't care if there is any. Here comes the big thing. Oh, by the way, I love cats. Cat stuff all over this house. All right. It's just kind of warm. Now. No, I want it on high. There she be. This out. This boiling hot gravy made this Cool Whip container very pliable. <laughs> just a second. Yes, sirree. I don't need my mom making gravy for me. Uh -uh. And if she did, she'd be doing it the energy wasting way on the stove anyway. Not me. I'm glad she banned me from starting her stove up. And it wasn't that bad of a fire I caused that one time. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. This is good. Ah. Pepper. I tell you what, and if I had some cumin, I'd put that in there just to make the kids from India jealous and mad at me. Yeah. Mmm. To make the kids from India jealous and mad at me. Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, I have here four eggs that I've been uh, sifting up. Getting ready to make my scrambled egg micro butter in there. Ah, yeah. 
And this is the good thing. What? I didn't... That's all of the Louisiana hot sauce. Damn it! Cramming you out loud. Crapola, who's been eating my Louisiana hot sauce? Well, whatever. Okay, now here goes this into the miracle microwave. And I'm going to put it on. Put it on high. Okay, I've got all that diced around. Looks just like scrambled eggs, but it's still pretty moist. And the, the rice just got done. All right. Okay. You really want to stick with this. If you ever overdo microwave eggs you will be smelling it bad so a minute 30 and I will be standing here on the ready checking it minute 30 on high and in case you're thinking like Sonny you got your rice you got your gravy you got your eggs going on here come on where's the meat three dice step hot dogs that's where the bad about Louisiana hot sauce, it turns out that my mom had bought some more. So, we're going to hit it down with some more. Yeah, real happy about the fact that my mama was looking out for me and got me some more Louisiana hot sauce there. And as you can see, I've got... On the bottom is some of the rice, and I've got some of the eggs, and some of the hot dogs, and some of the gravy. Right now, there's a little garlic salt here. Not salt, garlic powder. There's a big difference. And a little more pepper. And I, I'm getting, I'm going to stack the rest of this stuff on here. And I'm ready. There is the rest of my gravy and the eggs and the rest of the hot dogs. We're getting ready to rock and roll with a sunny bowl of food. Okay, I put some more rice on here and along comes a little more soy sauce. You got to have soy sauce on rice. Yep. And a little teriyaki. And some more of that Louisiana hot sauce there, yeah. Boom! Oh, yeah. This is going to taste so damn good. I apologize, you kids in India. Don't be flagging my video. I gave the UNICEF last year. I really did. And I will again this year. Yeah, battery problems there again. But uh, like I was saying, this whole video came about in my mind when I caught that Gabe dude, the fat guy with the katina, the dude that plays a swell guitar and knocks the hell out of Mountain Dew bottles with that katina sword of his. One time he was doing a ramen noodle on the stove top. That's, that's bad. I had a total Al Gore moment, global warming, and I was like, and soy sauce. Oh yeah, I love that soy sauce. And more Louisiana house sauce. You got to go with it. You just got to go with it. It's it's the hot stuff of champions. I love it. Yes. Okay. I think we're done. And by the way, I I found some paprika and uh, put some paprika on there. What the hell? Yeah, and uh, more soy sauce. Mmm, -hmm. love that stuff. And uh, you know, I found some cumin. I did 
So now I'm I'm in good with the kids in India now. I got cumin on this. Yes, sir, Bangladesh, all that stuff. I gave the UNICEF, and I will again. If you kids want food like this, you're just going to have to get on a freighter ship and come on over here. And my thanks to all my friends right here. Louisiana hot sauce, garlic powder, La Choy soy sauce, Kekelman's teriyaki sauce. Start make a fire. But anyway, my thanks to all my friends. Voice La Choy Soy Sauce. Mm. You know there was once a old time TV commercial where Andy Griffith would have a Ritz cracker and be going like mm -mm. Ritz, good cracker. Well Andy, not as good as Sonny's bowl of green cooked food. Green style cooked food by Sonny. Mm -mm. 